Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's official study manual, 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll deal with the topic of rounding and estimation. You will find the topic on page number 162. Turn to it, page 162, rounding and estimation. Before we, before we dive into what you see at the bottom of page 162, which, which actually involves rounding and estimation, let's start with something very basic, something very fundamental. For example, okay, let's take a look at it here. We have here a number, a quantity, 3.2. 3.2. As I said, this is very basic. What does 3.2 tell us? 3.2 tells us that we have this quantity is made up of three ones and two tenths. Three ones and two tenths. And because 0 0.2, 0 0.2 tells us that it's two tenths, this first first digit that you see there is called the tenths digit. Tenth with the th with the th and the plural. Tenths, because there are two of them here. This three tells us how many ones we have here. It has three ones, which is why it is called it is called the ones digit. Ones with the plural ones, or sometimes also it is referred to as a unit digit. What if instead of three point two, if we had three point two eight? Eight tells us now. Now it tells us. I should have written it. In the, it's in the way now. Let's, we'll, we'll write all of this in a second. Now this tells us that this quantity is made up of three ones, two tenths, and and eight one hundredths. Eight one hundredths. So this is called. Therefore, this is called. Hundredths digit again with a th. Hundredths. Because it tells us how many hundreds we have. Three ones, ones digit or unit digit, two tenths, and eight hundreds. Ones digit, tenths digit, hundreds digit, and so on and so forth. Thousands digit, ten thousand digit, and so on and so forth. And as you go in the other direction, for example, we may have we may have seven here. Now it tells us, now it tells us that we have, in this quantity, we have seven tenths, seven tenths. How many tenths? Seven tenths, tenths, without the th, you see? Tenth, right here, tenth, uh, where is, right here. Tenth with the th, and tenths. So this quantity, 73.28 has, is 73.28 is made up of seven tenths, seven tenths, three ones, two tenths, and eight one hundredths. Tenths, ones, tenth, one hundred. Let's carry on there. And this is the quantity that is given to us in the book at the bottom, at the bottom as you see there, page 162. This quantity is given to us. Let me change the marker. And we are being asked, we are being asked to round this figure to the given digit, whichever digit they tell us. So let's, let's put them down first. So it says round this quantity, round this quantity, 73 73.281, 73.281, 73.281, 73.281, and it says round this quantity. Two to this place, which is same as saying round this quantity to to these digits. And the first one says round it to ones ones digit, rounds it to ones digit, which is also sometimes known as the unit digit. What does it mean to round it to? One digit. When you want to round it to one digit, this is the one digit here. 
Okay, listen carefully. When we want to round it to one digit, when we want to round it to one digit, the only thing that matters is this digit. Only thing that matters is the digit that comes after it. So ignore ignore everything else that comes after it. We simply have to look at 73.2. 73.2. And what comes after the decimal place? Because we have to round it to one digit. This is where we have to round it to. This is this is what we are told here. So we go one digit to the right here. In this case, it happens after the decimal. Decimal point two. If it had been five or more, if it had been five or more, this three would have become four. But because after the decimal we only have two, which is less than five. When we round this quantity, when, when we are told to round 73.281 to one digit, it simply becomes 73. And we drop everything else. It, we just drop everything else. Nothing else plays a role. Let's do the next one. In the next one we are told to round it to tens digit. Okay, so now listen, now listen carefully again. When we have to round it to tens digit, when we have to round it to tens digit, tens digit is this one, 73. This is the tens digit. So now, only thing that is going to play a role. So we we no longer have to look at we no longer have to look at seventy three point two. We have to round it to tens digit. We just go one unit to the right, and we simply have to look at we have to simply look at. Oh, that was the answer. We simply have to look at seven. This is the we have to round it to tens digit. We simply have to look at one more digit to the right. If this digit had been 5 or more, instead of 73, if we had 76, then this would have become 80. We have to round it to closest tens. This is less than 5. Therefore, 73, when you round it to nearest tens, nearest tens means yes, this has to be a multiple of 10. Is it is 73, is 73 closer to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80? 73 is close. Closer to 70, closer to 73 is closer to 70. We have to round it to nearest tens. So here is our 70, here is our 80, 73 falls somewhere here. It's closer to 73, closer 73 is closer to 70 than it is to 80. Had it been 75, 76, something closer here, had it been one of these, we would have rounded to closest 10, we would have run it to 80. Let's do the next one. Next one says round it to tenth. Tenth with the th. Well, the tenth digit here, tenth digit here is this. Tenth digit here is this, which means, which means we only have to go one more digit to the right. So we we only have to look at. We only have to look at 73.28. That's the only thing we have to look at. And we ask ourselves, we ask ourselves, is this guy 5 or more? If it is, we're going to round this up. If it is not, we're just going to leave it alone the way it is. 8 happens to be more than 5. 8 is 5 or more. So it, when you round it to nearest tenth, it becomes 0.3. 73.281 rounded to nearest tenth becomes 73.3. Let's do the next one. Next one says round it to nearest hundredth. Again with a th, nearest hundredth. Well, nearest hundredth, hundred digits this one. This is the hundredth digit. So all you have to do is, all you have to do is, look at one digit to the right. So we have to look at 73.281, which in this case happens to be the entire quantity that is given to us. We ask ourselves, is this guy five or more? The answer is no, it's not five or more. So we leave it alone. We just drop it and we just leave it alone. This quantity, 73.281, Round it to nearest one hundredth becomes seventy three point two eight, and that's all there is. That's all there is. 
So they were like uh, one. Actually, there are two more examples there. Let's continue with this thing. So what I'm going to do next here, what we're going to do next here is I'm going to give you five more examples that are very similar to what appeared in the fifth edition of the book that, that was published in 2012. In this book, every single math problem that in this book appeared, every single problem that appeared in this particular book in 2012 edition, T5 is called, I have solved every one of them and you will find a solution to those problems on my channel. You simply have to look for T is 5. Just type in my name, Kishwani, T is 5, day 1, and that's where the series begins. And there are 80 videos there, and those 80 videos cover the solution to every single math problems that appeared in that book in the event that you're looking to find some more problems to exercise. It doesn't hurt to get a little bit more exercise. The more you, ex the more you exercise, the more you do the problems, the more 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 accustomed you become to them and the more more at ease you will feel in the exam. Do you understand? Of course you understand that. Let's do a few more. We'll do five more. And this time of course we're not going to take that long because we already know how to do it so it's going to go fast. So the quantity that is given to us is 67.6694 67.6694 and it says the last one says round in 2000 I'm going to get rid of this marker it's dying that marker that marker was morbid. That marker was morbid. It was about to die. Let's take a look at it very quickly, okay? So, let's first highlight what we are interested in here. It says, round it to nearest tenths. Nearest, or rather, nearest, nearest ones. The ones digit here is this one. That's the ones digit. Then it says round it to nearest tens. Tens digit here is it tells you how many tens we have. This this one. We have to first recognize that one. Which digit are we rounding to? And then we go one one digit to the right of it. Here we're going to go here. Here we're going to go here. Tenth digit with the th. Tenth digit. Tenth digit is this one right here. Which means we're going to have to look at this digit. Hundredth digit. Hundredth is this digit right here. And the thousandth is this one. Let's see what we can do, shall we? So, rounding the nearest tens, we simply have to look at 67 point, or nearest ones rather. We simply have to look at, we have to, nearest ones, we simply have to look at one digit to the right here, it becomes 67.6. We ignore everything else, nothing else matters to us. We just ignore it, nothing, nothing else matters to us. This is all that matters to us. And we ask ourselves, is this more than five? 67.6 is that last one, the tenth digit, is that more than, is, is that equal to more than 5? The answer is, yes it is more than 5, so 67.6 becomes 68. <coughs> and that's all there is. Let's do the next one. Give me one second. Now, <coughs> it says, round it on here is tens. This is a tens digit. This tells us how many tens we have in it. <coughs> Since we are being asked to round it to near tens, even though the actual quantity that is given to us is 67.6694, we are not interested in any of this. We just look at one unit, one more, one unit to the right. And we look at 67 only. We look at 67 only and we ask ourselves, is this, is this 5 or more? The answer is yes it is, yes indeed, it is 5 or more, 7 is 5 or more, so 67, 67 when it's rounded to nearest tens becomes 70. Because tens digit, tens digit tells us how many tens it has. 67 closest to, closest tens that it comes to is 70, of course it makes sense. Here is our 60, which tells us it has 6 tens, here is our 70, 
which tells us that we have 7 tenths and 67 lies somewhere here. It is closer to 70 than it is to 60. Since it's closer to 70, 67 is closer to this tenths. 67 when it is rounded to nearest tenths, it becomes 70. Let's do the next one. Next one says round it to the nearest tenth. Since we are interested in rounding it to the nearest tenth, we can only go as far as the hundredth. Right here, hundred, and we can ignore this too. Even though that was a nine, we still ignore it. It doesn't matter. This is all that matters. So we look at 67.66. Rounded to nearest tenth. This is the tenth digit. Is this more than is this five or more? The answer is yes. It is more five or more, so it doesn't become 67.7. That's all. Let's do one more. Round it to the nearest hundreds, which means we have to go to thousands digit. Thousands digit. We don't have to look at four, it doesn't matter to us. Is, is nine more than five? Of course nine is equal to or more than five, so this six will become seven. That's all it is. It's going to become 67.67. Round it to the nearest hundred. And finally we have to round it to the nearest thousand. Since we have to round it to the nearest thousand, have to look at the entire thing, the 10,000 digit is this unit, is this digit 5 or more? The answer is not, it is not 5 or more. We, since it's not 5 or more, when you round this quantity to the nearest thousand, it simply becomes 67.669. And we just we just ignore the 4 because it's less than 5. It's not it's not equal to more than 5. Had this quantity been equal to more than 5, we have rounded this to the, the nearest thousand, in which case it would have become a 0 and this would turn into a 7. But that's not the case here. That's all it is. That's all it is. Tomorrow we'll, we'll move on to the next page, page number 163, where there are some more problems. 1, 2, 3, 4, there are four, only 5 problems and we'll do a few more than that when we meet tomorrow where we learn how to round fractions. Sometimes we are given fractions, sometimes we are given mixed numbers, and we are, we are asked to round them to the nearest digit, whichever digit they tell us. We'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Bye now. If you wish to get hold of me, I forgot to tell you that in the beginning of the video. If you wish to get hold of me, you can reach me at Kishwani Prep at iCloud.com. Alright? Just send me an email, and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Bye now.